Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to be talking about the carnivore diet. So I am 135 days on the carnivore diet. Today I am down to 279 pounds from 335 pounds in the last 135 days. Uh, for the last week and a half or so I haven't lost really any weight. Um, it's pretty much coming off a lot slower now, maybe like a couple of pounds every, every other couple weeks or something. But the truth is, is I don't necessarily keep track of that as much as I did when I first started. Now it's kind of more about the, uh, the overall feeling of my body and, and how things have progressed since I started. So I want to kind of do like a recap, um, of over the last 135 days, because um, it's interesting once you get into this and once you start going, you you kind of just lose track of the time and you'll go from feeling completely miserable like you did before you decided that like, man, I need to make a lifestyle change to where you just feel like a new normal. And that's pretty much where I'm at now. I feel like I am at a new normal for how my body um, for how my body feels. So. When I when I first started, I'm just, I'm just gonna kind of give you a little rundown of all the stuff that I was suffering from. Um, I had serious, like like severe joint pain. I would wake up with headaches every night. Um, I had a burning sensation in my leg when I would stand on it for too long. My shoulder, I thought I'd torn my rotator cuff and just completely like lost um, uh, <clears throat> lost a lot of mobility in my shoulder was was having a hard time like holding it over my head and stuff like that uh being able to you know like being being in uh in my line of work i'm a maintenance guy and so i'm so i'm always using my arms i'm always doing something or i'm always in a tricky spot uh losing <laughs> i mean clearly overweight i was clearly overweight and um i was uh I, I was I was I was struggling, you know, to like get on the ground, get up off the ground, like just any any of those things that are basic functions for my job. Um, it, it was it was pretty tough. I had lower back pain. I had upper back pain. My feet hurt all the freaking time, like when I was walking around and 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 doing stuff like that. Um, I I had completely foregone wearing jeans anymore because my legs would rub together and pretty much just rub through the jeans in like three months. So I'd, uh, so I'd moved over to like sweatpants and stuff like that because um, I wear coveralls at work and just kind of made it easier for me to move my body and stuff. Um, I've, I've uh, you know, just, just so many different things that I was experiencing. Uh, breathing problems. It was hard for me to breathe and stuff. I couldn't sleep on my back if I tried. Um, always feeling tired. Always feeling like... I'd go to work and I'd come home and I'd need to take a nap for a couple hours. And then I would like sleep half the day on Saturdays, sleep half the day on Sundays. <clears throat> Just never really felt like I, like I was getting enough rest. Um, I was snorting all the time. You know, I always just kind of had like these, uh, um, just, just a whole bunch of annoying issues that, that normally, um, that, that like you start to just feel are normal. Like you're like, oh man, I'm just getting older. I'm in my forties. And, you know, I'm just like, man, I'm feeling like, like really, really bad, you know, and, and, and it's like my health just went downhill pretty quick after like 35, I started packing on like 20 pounds a year. And I went from like 200 pounds to 335 pounds in, in like, uh, what, what is it like eight years? And I'm like, gosh, dang, man. And, and I didn't even realize that I was getting to that point where, where I was, I was starting to get like really lazy and I couldn't do anything and, and I didn't want to do anything. And I would, I would start getting like. Um, I'd start building up this like defense mechanism of like being angry, you know, like my wife would want to go do something. And I'd just be like, Oh, I don't want to. And it's just stupid stuff like that. And I'll tell you what, man, like my, uh, my mental stability and capacity is so much better now because I, I feel happier. I feel, I don't, I don't have as much anxiety anymore. I don't, I, I don't suffer from, um, being depressed all the time and, and, and just being like uh, moody or like trying to stay out of like not do things and 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 that was getting that was that was starting to take a toll on my on my family and on my wife and all of that stuff and I could and I and I knew it was but I didn't know what to do I didn't know how to stop that I didn't know how to 
make myself just instantly have energy. I mean, like, seriously, going to work for 40 hours a week was was like, whoo boy. And then trying to do the channel on top of that. Man, I can't tell you just how amazing. Just just losing whatever, like 50 plus pounds has has done for 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 me um in in that short amount of time if you think about all the time you take to get up to that and in such a short amount of time like you start to get everything back and after a certain point the good things just come so rapidly it's not even funny uh so i did start carnivore to lose weight um it, that was that was the main focus and the main thing <clears throat> but then you start to realize all these other things that, that you get back that you receive after doing that and and once you start experiencing those along your journey that's when it really starts to get a lot easier at least it was for me and at least it has been for me so all of that stuff you know kind of like that recap or whatever you know it's like yeah i was starting to feel miserable i didn't know what was wrong with me i always just felt sick and you know like um, suffering from like IBS and stuff. There's like a long list of stuff that like <laughs> hasn't been part of my life now for, for like 90 days, 90 days plus. And, and so it's like, oh my gosh, man, like it, it's, it's hard to like sit here and try to remember, um, all the things that, that, that I was struggling with now that, you know, everything is, is, is working. It feels better. Like no joint pain. My joints just feel incredible. I literally feel 20 years younger and I'm, and that's, that's not in that that's not um hyperbole like like it's not it really is a point in in um like you do feel younger like I've, i i'm doing things that i was able to do back then um i've been going back to the gym now since since day 51 um i've been going back to the gym at least once a week or if i can't make it to the gym i've got i've, I've invested in some weights that, that i sit and i lift now um i'm i'm trying to get my body back into at least um not necessarily peak physical, but at least good enough to where it's like, yeah, I can manage this. And uh, yeah, dude, it, it just it just feels incredible. Uh, so I want to talk about the first couple of weeks on Carnivore because I think that's where most people will hit their snag and completely quit. Because you are going to suffer maybe even a little more than you did before getting on Carnivore for that first couple of weeks. Um, and, and there's some things that are going on in your body that are helping you make these changes. And um, it, it's, it, it, it can be uncomfortable. It can be unpleasant. It can, it can make you feel like there were a couple days that, that literally felt the worst. It was like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. And that's your body like just craving the carbs and the garbage and the junk food just telling you like, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. And like fighting that urge oh my gosh, it is tough. And, and, and it, and it sucks. It really does. It sucks. But I know you can do it. If I can freaking do it, like if I can do it, I know you can do it. And you just have to flip that switch in your brain. You have to, you have to, or, or you're, or you're going to continue to suffer. Like I, I I'm going to start calling it like the thousand cuts, like, like death by a thousand cuts because it sucks, man. Like you can't do anything about it. You feel, you feel miserable when you do have one of those days where you're kind of feeling good. You, you, you don't have the motivation to do that. You want to do anything other that, that you haven't been able to do in a long time because you felt so terrible. You want to do that. And so it's hard and, and, and it is, and it almost feels impossible to make a change. But if I told you that all you got to do is eat steak, butter, bacon, salt, and freaking water, and you would and you would feel incredible. It it's it's weird. I mean, you can add eggs in there too. I mean, for women, you're definitely gonna want to have like a higher fat content, um, and and that will help you when you first start. You want to you want to be you want to be at least. I'm going to, I'm going to say like 70, 80% like fat. Like you want, you want more fat. You want to eat, you want to eat like cheese. You want to eat like eggs. You want butter. You want any, any of that other stuff. I mean, like you can, you can do like the whole, like, um, like the, like the lard and all the fat, like you can get your fat however you want. But for me, it was eggs, bacon, and butter and, and, like, and, and some cheese and stuff, you know? Those those are those are pretty easy to manage, and it usually tastes pretty good. Everybody likes some freaking. So here's the thing, man. Um, some some Kerrygold butter, some scrambled eggs, 
with some cheese on it and just you just you know cut some cheese don't don't get like the 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 shredded stuff or whatever i don't know if that's really that bad to be completely honest with you probably be all right you'll probably survive it but cut it up stick it on your stick it on your eggs make them nice and cheesy and then eat that and then you'll be full uh get some ground beef some hamburger mix it up with some eggs this is a really good way to get some fat and and this is easy to cook and and you can make a like you can you can you can literally go to costco and get 25 uh, twenty-five dollars worth of burger. Fry that all up in a little thing. Uh, mix in some eggs. Get get it all cooked up really good, and then just put it into portion bags, and then throw it in the freezer, and then and then take it out, take it to work with you, and then just eat that. And tell yourself, um, it, the, the biggest thing for me, what I had to tell myself for this is, I'm no longer eating as a social construct of life. This is fuel for my body so that I can move, so that I can move, and you'll notice. Like when you first start carnivore, you're 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 you're, you're gonna be you, you're gonna want to eat a lot. You're, you're gonna want just eat until you're full. Eat as much meat as you can until you're full. Um, and 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 you'll and you'll 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 realize at first it might seem like you're eating a lot and you and you might be you know feeling like you're eating more than you were before. But trust me on this because it is gonna work and it's gonna change and your body just needs that so that it can kick over. <clears throat> so that it can kick over from from the uh, from the carbs and the sugars and all of that. So that it could kick over to start burning fat. And then within within the first, you know, probably 30 days, you're going to lose 25 pounds of water weight easily. You're just going to, boop, it's going to be gone. You're going to poop it out. You're going to, you're going to lose it pretty quick. And then, and then your body's going to start to eat the fat. Um, and, and that process is a little bit slower. There, there are ways that you could speed it up by going to the gym or working out, doing brisk walking, whatever else, you know, like some exercise and stuff, but you don't even need to exercise. You don't even need to do that. The only reason I started going back to the gym is just because I started getting to a point where where my testosterone levels were were coming back pretty rapidly, and uh, <clears throat> I just had all this extra like whoa this man rage that I had to go <clears throat> that I had to go and like work out like I had to do that I had to do that just so that I could like oh my gosh because it was just getting to the point where I was getting antsy I didn't want to sit around I didn't want to do nothing I wanted to go do something so it's been great I've been going back to the gym and I've been feeling a lot better for that but yeah them first couple of weeks suck but if you increase your fat content and you you know you get through the you, you get through like the stage of like the drop in the water and all of that um, another thing's going to happen because your taste buds are going to come back and then you're going to enjoy the meat even more and you're not going to crave the sugars or the junk foods or the carbs or any of that. You're not going to crave any of that. I haven't craved any of that this whole time. The only time I even think about that stuff is when we're grocery shopping. Like we were at Costco tonight and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could still eat that. I wish I could still eat that. And then I think, no, I don't want that. And and I went to Costco hungry tonight and I still didn't come home with any junk food. <coughs> I still didn't come home with any junk food. Sorry, I've been making, I, I made a few other videos today. So my voice is starting to get a little bit hoarse and stuff. But I wanted to make this video because I haven't made one in, in, in a while. And, you know, I, I want people to know that, like, look, I'm still committed to this. But I don't want to, like, bombard you with, like, oh, yeah, you got to change your life videos all the time. I want to be able to make these, you know, every once in a while. And I felt like, look, man, we're almost to 140 days. We've been doing this. We've been doing good. Um, we've been through, you, you know, it, it, it's just amazing how, how once you get to a point, you don't even think about it anymore. Like the lifestyle will take over. Like you, you have to give it that point, like the 90 days or whatever. And I know that like when you hear like Dr. Kim Barry or anybody else talking about like, yeah, just, I recommend 90 days. That seems like a long time at first, but then, but then when you cross the 90 days and you're like, huh, that was nothing. I feel incredible. Like every day you feel good. I, I'm, I'm not even joking when I say this. If I go to bed at 10 o'clock, I wake up exactly at 3 o'clock. If I go to bed at 12 o'clock, I wake up exactly at 5 o'clock in the morning and I feel rested. That's an hour. 5 o'clock is an hour or 45 minutes before my alarm that I used to have to. I used to have to wake I go to work at 7. I used to have to wake up at 545 in the morning. And let it sit on the bed and rock myself for 15 minutes before even getting up and going to the bathroom. <clears throat> before I could even start getting like just to get the blood pumping. Now I'm like, I wake up at five, I'm up, I stand up, go into the bathroom, come back in here. 
I'll like sit back on the bed, pick up my phone, start reading the comments from the YouTube channel, you know, answering some of them. Then I'll walk over here and I'll sit down and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go make myself a cup of coffee, come over here and I'll sit down, sit here and I'll read like some news or read whatever. <coughs> and then maybe I'll, uh, and then maybe if I'm feeling froggy, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make a little quick video in the morning or something. I'll upload that, you know, and start getting ready for work. And, and then I go to work. I don't even eat breakfast in the mornings. I just, I just go. And then I eat around nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, when I get home from work, I usually try to eat a little bit earlier so that I can get some of that intermittent fasting in there as well. I want my body to be able to, uh, to like detoxify, take advantage of that autophagy, let, let some of the, the, the cells eat the dead ones and get rid of all that stuff and kind of clean up my body and stuff. There's, there's just so many things that, that like being a carnivore, um, is going to help you. Like you'll get to a point where like where I'm right now, where your food consumption levels are going to go way down. Like you're, you're not going to be consuming anywhere near the amount of food like before, Seriously, like every two hours I was hungry. I'm like, oh yeah, dude, I'm going to go get this. Or <coughs> we'd go to like <coughs> McDonald's or Wendy's or something and, and get like some burgers and some fries and we'd eat all that. And then like a couple hours later, we're like, oh man, we need some ice cream or we need this. I don't snack it anywhere near as much as I do. And if I do, I get something like some chomps or, um, you know, like a little bit of string cheese or something like that. But mainly, you know, like every once in a while, if you just go over to like Wendy's or something, um, so you don't, you're not a big cooker and you don't want to cook, you can get four of their large patties with cheese on them for like nine bucks and boom, just eat that. And and that is so filling, just four of those. I can eat those at like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm good till nine o'clock the next day. I'm good till nine o'clock the next day. I don't, I don't feel hungry. I don't feel starving. No hunger pains. Nothing like that. It just feels, it just feels good. Like I feel more optimized and I, and I feel, I feel better, but I will tell you, I have noticed something lately while working out. Um, when I go to work out now, it, 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 it's, it, it feels like I feel like I feel good. I can do my workout and all of that, but it, it's, it's more like, um, like I don't need to work out as much. And I, and I still get the same overall like um, feeling like I, I don't have to work out as much. And I kind of don't feel like I kind of feel a little bit not sluggish. Sluggish is not the word for it. It's a little bit like, oh, man, like, ooh, like I'll, I'll start hitting the weights at first. And I'm like, oh, man, that 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 doesn't feel like, oh, man, like, you know what I mean? And it takes me a couple more minutes to actually like get warmed up and to actually like start doing my workout and stuff like that. So it's like, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Like I, it, it's, it's kind of weird, man. It's like, um, uh, it's not like slow starting or anything like that because I mean, I've been up since like five o'clock in the morning and then I'll go to the gym after work and then I come home and, ah, oh, it's so good. But this shirt right here, I'm down a few sizes, man. I was getting like 2X. This one here is a 1X. And this one here is still a little bit big on me. I just got these the other day. I got a, I went and bought like five, six of these shirts so that uh, so that I could like start to... I, I'm thinking I should have got large. I think next time I might grab a large just to see because I feel like I've lost like three dress sizes. It's incredible. <laughs> so that's my update, man. I'm still doing it. I'm still having fun. I am still enjoying Chuck Steak pretty much every night. Or I'll stop at Wendy's and grab four burgers, or um, you, you know, just like tonight I had a, a some chicken breast and a couple of string cheeses. But yeah, for the most part, man, like it's it's pretty simple. Once you get past that first couple of weeks and you start getting into a routine and you find something that you like that you can consume um, over and over and over again, that's going to really help you. So I would look for that uh, first. Find something that you can eat that's cheap enough to where you can eat a lot of it. Because you're going to be hungry that first few weeks, uh, so find something that you can uh, that you can uh, <clears throat> pretty much eat as much as you want until you're full. Before you start switching over to like the finer cuts of meat or anything like that, just find your find your thing that you can do to save enough money to where once you get to the point where you don't have a, a huge appetite no more, then you can start doing like the ribeyes and all of that stuff. But <clears throat> do something that's going to be sustainable for you. Like if you're, if you're trying to do ribeyes every night, when you first start, you're not going to be able to afford that. You're going to need too much of that. 
It's it's gonna it's gonna break your will pretty quick. But a, but tw five pounds of hamburger and some eggs that's cheap. That's like thirty bucks. <laughs> that's like that's like thirty five. That's like thirty five bucks, and you can get a lot of meals out of that and and be able to sustain yourself pretty much pretty much throughout the whole day so all right my friends if you like this content do not forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching